I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I have specialized in internal medicine about 20 years back. I practice uh, internal medicine among other specialties, uh, mainly diabetes, cardiology, nephrology, neurology, and various other infectious diseases. I am practicing in Stanford Hospital in Kaikondrahalli, Bangalore. Cold and fever can be a tricky manifestation in a clinic. Uh, the duration of cold and fever being one week, as, as the question goes, uh, it can be symptomatically treated. So a pharmacological management of cold and fever, it can be just based on the symptoms what the person has. If a person has rhinorrhea, we can give a, a certain uh, drug which can stop the uh, nasal congestion or uh, running nose. We can give a decongestant, we can give antihistamines. We have different modalities of therapy within these categories. Fever, as we all know that our first line of therapy is paracetamol and uh, we would like to give that a try before even heading for a more stronger therapy or thinking beyond it. But if there are more manifestations than just cold and fever and cold and fever is not responding to the symptomatic treatment, then obviously we will look for a better treatment like antibiotics. So there are always chances that this cold and fever lasting for a week would have given rise to infection. And that also depends on the doctor to diagnose whether the person is really in having infection of the upper respiratory tract or somewhere else and it should not be confused or uh, it should not be conflicting with uh, the cold. So let's say azithromycin uh, being the question whether it is effective or not. Yes, azithromycin can be given as an antibiotic. Some time back we thought that azithromycin is a drug of choice uh, in the sense to start with in a cold setting where infection has prevailed. But over a period of time we are seeing uh, that azithromycin category of drug is uh, gradually not showing the response what it used to. And that slowly brings me to a different larger topic of bacterial resistance. The way we use antibiotics today is a, a little bit off, off the mark. It is not as per the guidelines. Because in India, antibiotics are available over the counter. And if the doctor prescribes antibiotics once or twice, then the common man thinks that antibiotic is a rule. And as I mentioned that azithromycin was one of the uh, more commoner and uh, more sought after antibiotic. But that's what the problem is. If antibiotics are used so commonly and they start getting misused and then it leads to more of uh, overuse of antibiotics. And that actually causes problems in patients where you don't even feel that patient needs antibiotics or not the question of which antibiotic. So it is better that in a clinical setting the doctor decides what antibiotic you have had earlier, what antibiotic will be more effective on you, whether you should give a broader spectrum antibiotic or a certain group of antibiotic which is more effective depending upon the community, depending upon the patient's resistance. So there are a lot of questions which come up when we talk about antibiotics. Azithromycin, yes, it can be used but it has to be used under uh, different conditions.